Hi, this is Emily of It Girl Rag Doll. I'm going to show you how to do a rag curl tutorial. Um, I, this is the way I curl my hair all the time. Uh, my hair is extremely straight naturally. Um, hot tools normally will not hold a curl. So I do rag curling in my hair, which is using strips of fabric. Like these ones. This is what I use all the time. You can see I've used these before. And um, you roll it up in your hair, and you get curls. So um, I started with my hair like this because it looked really good today, and I just wanted to document it. Um, but I start with my hair freshly blow dried, which is how I normally do it. Um, you don't have to do it this way. You can just do it on dry hair. I would suggest maybe um, moistening it a little bit. Um, I think that when you um, do it with your hair freshly blow dried, like totally dry, but it's got that like somewhat still moist feeling to it. It's very fresh. It's like most malleable then, and it just holds the curl really well for me. So I'm I just worked all day, so I'm nice and sweaty. Um, so I'm gonna go take a shower and I'll blow dry my hair, and then we'll continue from there. So I'll see you after that. Okay, so I just took a shower and blow dried my hair. It's um, almost totally dry. You can see it's still a tiny bit damp, but this is this is good. I when I first started doing this, I did it with my hair wet. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know how it worked well so many times because if you do it when it's too wet, um, it most likely won't dry all the way by the time the morning comes, or some of it might, but some of it might not, and then you come up with like different length curls, different tightnesses. So it's best to do it with dry hair. Um, like I said, you can you can just do this with your hair straight dry. You don't have to go and take a shower. I am a nightly shower person, so um, I shower and then I blow dry my hair and I do this and I sleep on it. You don't have to sleep on it. You can leave it in for a couple of hours. Some days, if, if I'm not working that day, I can do it earlier in the day, leave it in for maybe like four hours and have curls at night. Uh, if I have to go out, I just put a scarf around it and get some weird looks, but... There are weirder things out there. Okay, so I have these strips of uh, fabric. You can just rip it up. They're about an inch and a half thick, seven, eight inches long. You just want to, um, you don't want to make them too small because then it'll, it's hard to grip when you're um, curling them up. You want them to be uh, about this length. So I am going to go for a lot of curls. I have probably about 30 strips that I have in my little bag that I keep, and um, I'm going to try and use most of them right now. So I usually start on my very front curl here, take this section of hair, and I take my curl, and I usually just, it goes so I have some at the end, and I put my, my finger here on top of it with this below it. And then I just wrap it around my finger best I can. And you always want to try and get your ends in the curl, otherwise you have straight ends and it looks kind of weird. So then I will take my finger out at this point. And I just curl. Roll it up. Catch any loose ends and then tie it off like that. And that's the first one, and that's the gist of it. I'll show you another one. The smaller amount of hair that you use, the tighter the curl. There are some days when, if I don't have a lot of time or I'm just not and then for a lot of curl, I'll just do like three on each side and I just do them kind of loose and I keep them at about this height and that works just as fine too. Then I usually just separate them a little bit and then you get a really nice loose curl. That takes two seconds to do. Right, so you just wrap it on your finger. Wrap it up. And 
and I'm going all the way up because like I said I want a lot of curl If you don't want like total curls up to your scalp, you could just roll it to about here and tie it off. And I do that sometimes too. And that works. That's what I like about these rags so much is that there's so many different things, so many different ways, different hairstyles. I mean, I know there's better things out there to get a better curl, but this is all I got. <laughs> and I don't know anything about hair, so. Alright, so I'm just going to fast forward the rest of these. thing sleeping on this many. <laughs> when you have a couple it tends to be a bit easier. Alright, like there's the first curl. And you just want to like unravel them slowly. Sometimes like right now your hair will get a little bit tangled just because when you get all those loose hairs It's usually pretty easy to, to get it out. 
except for right now. There. Nice one. I think the curls are going to look great today. today um, if you saw my hair last night it's like down here maybe here and um, this is how tight these curls are today I'm really happy about this came out really nice um so usually at this point um, I have this nice mirror so I can check out the back of my hair and everything so they all came out pretty even and nice today, but this doesn't happen every day. Um, the side that was coming out a little bit on this side, sometimes that'll cause this side to droop a little bit more, but they're all pretty even. I would suggest them for, for anybody, especially if you have straight hair like I do. Literally nothing else holds these curls. Although I have heard that hot rollers work really well. My friend Courtney has started using them, and I think there's something I need to invest in. Um, we make a little bit of a, a neater curl. These ones, you know, they're rag curls. Go by the name. They're a little wonky sometimes. They're not a perfect curl, but I, I think they're really cute and I really like them. You know, so I think this is a really great, great way to curl your hair. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. Um, it's, you know, something fun to play with. Um, so I guess that's everything. If there are any other hairstyles you maybe want to see a video of. I know I, um, I don't claim to know too much about hair, but I do play around with mine sometimes and you guys seem to like it, so um, maybe I'll make something else up. Be just send me a little note and tell me what you're interested in. Um, I hope this video helped any of, any of you who are considering doing rag curls. Thanks for watching and uh, Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you soon.